Hi, I'm Stephanie and let's talk books. So today, so today I have part two of this giant catch up haul that I'm doing. If you missed part one, I'll go ahead and link it in the cards above so you can go check it out. But I have a lot of US editions that I added to my collection in that haul. And today we're going to be talking about the international and special edition books that I have added into my collection. So let's go ahead and start looking at books. So we ended the last haul with Rhythm of War, so we'll go ahead and start this one with Rhythm of War. This is another US hardcover edition of Rhythm of War. This one is the signed Books A Million edition. So Books A Million as well as Barnes & Noble put out signed editions and they have these tip-in pages which Brandon signs and then these are bound into the book. This does have a separate ISBN number. So if you look here on the copyright page you can see there are several ISBN numbers listed. The hardcover, international, then the signed, which is this book, and then the ebook. So it does have a separate ISBN number from the regular hardcover, but you know, all of the ISBNs are printed in both editions. So, you know, there's that. Next up, I have this edition of Skyward. This is a library binding edition. And as you can see, this is a case wrap book where they print the cover directly on to the book as opposed to having a separate dust jacket. Library editions also tend to be constructed uh, in a little bit different manner from the general hardcovers just so they can be sturdier and stand up to the abuse that a library book is going to go through. And I found this one for pretty cheap and decided to pick it up. I really love the look of these case wrapped books and I wish that was more of a thing in the US as opposed to the dust jackets. The other uh, language that I'm actively working to fill out my collection is Polish. I absolutely love the Polish covers, like I'm super obsessed with them. And so I did pick up a couple of Polish editions. This is Rhythm of War. As you can see, we have Shalon featured prominently on this cover, which I love because it is her flashback book. So we have kind of the standard red and back black color palette that makes the books look really nice and cohesive. And then Shalon has this beautiful intricate dress on with the safe hand sleeve and she's drawing. And I also just love how the artist was able to give her this great fiery red orange hair and also make it really work with the red in the, um, the background of the cover. That is not something that's necessarily super easy to do to find the right red to go with the redhead but i thought it was really awesome and you can see she is also on the spine of the book and then the back is not super exciting especially because i don't read polish but i'm assuming it says exactly what the english one does next up i have the polish Oathbringer. now this one they did end up splitting into two books so i only have part one i need to pick up part two of Oathbringer. but on the cover we have adolin with his shard blade and he's in a really nice sharp looking colin uniform and we have another depiction of a shard plate in the back i know i've said this before on my channel but the shard plate on the polish way of kings is my favorite depiction of shard plate i have ever seen so i was happy to see more uh polish shard plate going on and then we have adolin on the side and then on the back we get just a little peek of a shard plate right there and last but certainly not least we have this stunningly beautiful leather bound 10th anniversary edition of mistborn I already had Well of Ascension, now I have Mistborn. I'm still missing Hero of Ages, but this was my Christmas present this year and I'm really hoping that the store is able to restock these again is so that I can get another leather bound for Christmas. If I get Hero of Ages, I'll be all caught up. Um, once my way of king's leather bound gets here too. So I have done a detailed video on some of my other leather bound editions 
which you can find on my channel. And I do plan on doing one for this one just because they're so beautiful. They're packed full of art and just absolutely amazing. And I think that if you're considering purchasing a book that costs a hundred dollars, then you might want to look inside. Or if you can't justify purchasing a book that costs a hundred dollars, you might still want to see what the inside looks like. So until then, you can go back and watch my older walkthroughs. So that's it for today. Those are the books that I have purchased since my last haul. I'm going to try to do these a little bit uh, more frequently so that I don't end up with giant, giant stacks of books and have to rush through them all. But thank you guys so much for watching. And last but certainly not least, a John A walkthrough video. I have done a walkthrough. You know, and of course, now that I'm editing, they are super, super good and quiet. Yeah, they're, they're about ready to nap here on my computer while I'm editing. Thanks, birds. <laughs>